Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Earlier this month, I showed you a quick build to make your haunted house, or even the walk up to your front door on Halloween, more interactive and spookier. Now, I threw together a bunch of components rather quickly and, if I'm to be honest with myself, kind of haphazardly. But I did say that if I were to actually build this project, I would want to clean up my build a little. Well, how is this for cleaned up? Now, this is the result of our new interactive custom board service, a la carte. A la carte, or ALC as we've taken to calling it around here, is a point and click custom board designer that allows you to choose the components you want and places them all on a single board for you. We've designed a user interface that guides you through the process, warns you if you try to pair mismatched components, and puts them all on a single board. Well, let's take a quick look at the user interface, shall we? Now, I'm not going to go into extreme detail here because Avra has some great videos that will really help guide you through the creating process with ALC. I just wanted to show you how fast and simple this can be. Now, since I already had the proof of concept project built, I knew going in what components I would need. So, I gave my project a name, chose a microcontroller, in my case, the Artemis module. Then I added my inputs, the distance sensor and the PIR motion sensor. Then onto outputs, an MP3 player and four relays. I also added a quick connector and a handful of female headers so I could expand if necessary. The idea is that you will still build the project as you always would. A microcontroller, some sensor breakouts, perhaps some quick cables, do a bit of soldering, maybe even affix all the components onto a base of some kind so that you're not stressing the connections. Once that's completed and functioning as you want, then it's time to move it over to ALC. Add everything you used for your build simply by choosing the corresponding block. And if there's a component you need that doesn't have a block yet, you can break out some GPIO pins or even add a connector if needed. So even if it isn't on the board in this iteration, it can still be in your project. Additionally, you can shoot us a note and request that we build that component into an ALC block so that your future iterations of the project can integrate it onto the board. So now, instead of this electronic octopus looking thing, I've got everything on a single compact board. And now, yes, I did go from six relays down to four, and I went from solid state relays to the mechanical ones. But since I added a quick connector to my board, and it's 50 cents, why wouldn't you? That's cheaper than guacamole. Because I added the quick connector, I can add more relays, I can add more sensors, I can build out this board and individualize each build of it. So, first thing we do is we power up. I've given my board five blanks of the built-in LED to make sure it's doing what I expect. And from there, we go to the infrared motion sensor. There we go. That turns on the pathway lights and starts the music. And now it's time for the proximity sensor. Oh, highlight some tombstones. Oh, lightning, ooh. And finally, ah, it's the big creepy guy. And there it is, that's it. Now, admittedly, if you only need one or two of something, this probably isn't the way to go because even though it's less than most custom design places, there is still an initial setup fee. But if you're gonna need multiples of the same project or you think you're gonna need more over time, then ALC is gonna be a great way to go. And that initial design fee is good for the next three years. So if you need 10 of something now, two and a half years from now, you need another 30, all you're paying for is the components and your design is already made. Now, with my board, if you just wanna spice up your front walk for trick-or-treaters, this is gonna seriously cut into your candy budget. But if you're a small startup, or if you're a company that builds haunted houses, and you want interactivity for each room and still be expandable, then ALC is gonna be a great way for you to go. Now, I know I've said it before, but I think it bears repeating. For as many ideas as we can come up with here at SparkFun, we know that all of you out there are gonna come up with millions more. And I know I can speak for all of us SparkFunnians here when I say we can't wait to see what you come up with using SparkFun's a la carte. Happy hacking, everyone. Earlier this month, I showed you a build. Is that what I did? Yeah, I did, look at that. ALC, or I'll, I hope this is how I held it before. Yeah, this seems right. Is a custom board, point and click, custom board designer. I would probably want to clean up the build before I, so close. I would want to clean up my build a little bit. Well, out the door. <laughs>